Hey, what's up? It's John, aka Operation iDroid, and in my last two videos, I showed how to open revoked applications and how to install revoked applications. And those two videos helped out a lot of people, except maybe you, because it did not work on the latest iOS 13.2.3, which is the software that most people have as of the recording of this video. And I didn't know that, I'm so sorry. I didn't have the latest iOS version and it worked on all of my testing devices. However, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install revoked applications, how to open revoked applications if you are on the latest iOS 13.2.3, which is the latest iOS version as of the recording of this video. And hopefully this method will continue to work with iOS versions to come. So if you wanna learn how to install and open revoked applications, on your iOS device, this is super awesome. I cannot wait to show you how to do this, then please hit that like button. And of course, I wanna give a big shout out to Saunders Tech, who made a video on this um, because he saw my video, and then he was able to add his own little trick to get it working on the latest iOS version. So big shout out goes out to him. I'll have a link to his channel in the description below. And let's not waste any more time and let's begin with the tutorial. All right, so here we are on my iOS device and one of the first and most important steps that I've already done is that you want to turn off your iOS device and turn it back on. This is super important, do not skip this step. Now I'm gonna show you that my iOS device is on the latest iOS 13.2.3, which is the latest version of iOS as of recording this video. And this method will work for all versions of iOS below that as well. So. I'm going to head into Safari and I'm going to type in the URL operationidroid.com forward slash app market, which I also have linked in the description below. And I'm going to install Delta, which is currently revoked. And this method will work for any revoked application from any website. In my case, I'm just using my website where I have all of my favorite emulators. So to install Delta, I'm just going to click get and then hit install. Now I'm gonna quickly head home and look for the application that is installing and I'm going to tap on it to pause it. This is super important because you don't want the application to continue loading and installing while we go into our settings and open Safari and scroll down to clear history and website data. So you wanna go ahead and click on that twice so that it clears your history and website data. And now we're going to tap on our application again so that it will continue loading. Now, this is very important. As your application continues to load, it'll switch to installing. As soon as it switches to, in to installing, you wanna scroll down on control center and turn on airplane mode and your revoked application will now install, which is awesome. Now that the application is installed, we can pull down control center and get out of airplane mode. However, when you try to open the application, it'll say unable to verify app, and that's completely normal. And I'm gonna show you how to get around that now. The first thing you wanna do is go back into settings, and we're going to go into general, scroll down to device management, click on the enterprise app certificate and trust it. Now that we've trusted the certificate, it'll say to verify the app again. And when you tap on it and hit verify, nothing happens. And that's okay. We still can't get into our revoked application. So what you want to do from here is open Safari and you want to open five different web pages and close them. This is very random, but you have to do this in order for this process to work on the latest version of iOS 13.2.3. So open five different web pages, close them, and then we're going to head back into our settings and we're going to scroll back down to Safari. And then we're going to clear our history and website data again. And once you've done that, we're going to head back into our home screen and we're going to turn our iOS device back into airplane mode. And then from here, we can now open our revoked application. And just like that, you installed and opened a revoked application on iOS 13.2.3 or lower, which is insane. Once you're, the, you're in the application, you can get out of airplane mode. And if you're using Delta, as always, make sure you turn on Delta Sync with Google Drive. Don't use Dropbox because that'll make your, your Delta application crash. But as I was saying, this is just absolutely incredible. Now, this will only work for about an hour, but don't worry, it can work forever. 
Now what I mean by this process will only work for about an hour is because when you exit the application and you try to open it again, you'll get that same pop-up that says unable to verify app, which is super annoying. It didn't happen to me when I exited my application. As you can see, I was able to open it again. However, if you get that unable to verify app pop-up again, make sure that you open your revoked application from the multitasking bar because you'll always be able to open it from there. However, if it's not in the multitasking bar, then you'll have to repeat the steps from clearing your history and website data, going back into Safari and opening five different web pages. And once you've done that, you can head back into your settings and then clear your history and website data again. Then go back into your home screen, turn on airplane mode and open your revoked application. And that's how you'll be able to get into it again if you get that unable to verify app pop-up again. So that's what you can do to open revoked applications. And if the application is still in your multitasking bar, then you'll be fine to just open it from there. If you have issues with anything throughout this process, let me know in the comment section down below. This should work for everyone. I tested it out on a ton of devices. I asked people on Twitter. so. I'm really hoping that this works for you as well. If this works for you, please let me know in the comment section down below because it seems like when it doesn't work, more people comment that it doesn't work than it does. So I'd just love to see the results in the comment section down below. Leave a like if this video helped you. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video because I'll be uploading more awesome tutorials like this one. And I guess I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, goodbye.